Hello and welcome back for part 3 of Castle Broken Head Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last time, we finished buying all of the gear we needed to leave Tantagel, came over to this cave where we found an ancient call to arms from our long dead ancestor, Erdrick, or Lodo as he's actually called. Next, we'll be moving on to a whole new area, known as Garenham. There may be some new enemies along the way, and I'm not going to edit out the fights while we travel. Uh, once we explore Garenham, I'm going to be doing a lot more grinding, because we are going to have all new gear to save up for, because of course we are. Um, if you look down here to the south, you'll see the area I'll be doing most of my grinding in, in this forest. Now, you don't want to go into these last two rows down here. If you go any further south, you're going to run into enemies from across the bridge. You remember what that guy was saying about bridges and how danger increases when you cross them? Well, as we talked about, there's big square zones that the monsters are confined to. So on the other side of this line, that's where the monsters get harder. So we're not going to do that. And we have a new monster here. We have the Magician. He has 12 hit points, 11 attack points, 12 defense points, no speed. But he gives around 11 gold and 4 experience points. The real trick is he casts the Hurt spell. That spell can kill us at this level. Here we go. 8 damage. You can see how that can very quickly add up. If you're not careful fighting these magicians, they will kill you. Uh, at least until we get another couple levels. So I'm glad I got to show you that. And we're going to have to fight another one before we get to Garenham. Oh, look at that. Seven more damage. We've gone from 30-whatever it was to 18. It adds up fast. Now, Garenham is a small town, apparently full of old men. Let's talk to the old men. Garen, a wandering minstrel of legendary fame, is said to have built this town. Interesting. We have a tool shop. Let's see what he has here. Uh, the herb, which we've seen before. The torch, which we used up. And a dragon scale again. Uh, so if you didn't get the dragon scale over in Breconary, you can get it here. Uh, we don't need any of that right now. Let's see what this old man says. Uh, many believe that Princess Gwalyn is hidden away in a cave. And we could see a cave just over west of Tantagel. I wonder if it's that cave. It's not. Not even close. Uh, I've heard of one named Nestor. Dost thou know such a one? No, I don't know Nestor. I do I have never met anyone named Nestor in my entire life. It is an unlikely name. Welcome to Garenham. Oh, well, thank you. I hope my stay is peaceful. Taken eastward. See, so here we get another clue as to the location of the princess. Now, we have a weapons and armor shop. But we definitely want to take a look. And there it is. There is the reason why this game sucks sometimes. I spent 58 minutes grinding for gold to get 340 for a copper sword, some leather armor, and a small shield. Now, we need 560 gold to get a hand axe, 1,000 gold upgrade to the half plate armor and 800 to get a large shield. Two, that's 
2,360 gold in order to max out the gear from this town. And as I said before, that is exactly what I plan on doing. So, this is going to be fun. Now we see here we do have an inn. It's 25 gold to stay here. So, clearly, we need to count on running into a lot of magicians. And we have another door that's locked. So, if you look here, you can see, like, half of the town is locked room. Like, half of the square footage. What a waste. Alright, so I am going to start grinding for some gold, and I will meet you all back here once I have 2,360 gold accumulated, along with an update for exactly how long that takes. Welcome back. We are just nine gold away from completing our goal of 20 or 2360 in order to upgrade our gear. And I should point out that by this point, it has now been two hours and 17 minutes of grinding away. We've gotten all the way up to level 9. The, one of the largest challenges that, we've, that I've had to face here is that by the time I reach level 8, 54 minutes into grinding, everything started to run away from me. Most things were running away at level 7, which I hit 21 minutes in. I learned the sleep spell at 20, at level 7, and gained the Radiant spell at level 9, which took an hour and 53 minutes before I reached uh, that level there. Thank goodness. As you can see, uh, it took more than a little bit of time to get here. So our attack power is currently 40. We're going to upgrade to the Hand Axe. And we gain 5 attack power for all that work. Uh, there's some definite uh, gold scaling issues within the game. Uh, there's the area across the bridge that I showed you all earlier. Uh, well, I walked up to the border of it. And if you go across that bridge, you can actually gain a lot more uh, gold a lot more quickly. Uh, but our goal here is to try to play the game as it was made, so in order to get the maximum gear in Garenham here, I want to do all of my grinding for gold in the Garenham area. Wow, a massive jump, 13 defense, uh, from going from the leather armor to the half plate. You can see that there's chainmail here. It's almost like they did want you to get that first and then go to that other area, but that's not what we did here. Alright, so we have spent a small fortune that's perhaps not so small, and gone from 20 defense to 39. We've almost doubled our defense uh, and gained five more attack, so we can see that it definitely was uh, a big upgrade for such a little town. Uh, still over two hours of grinding uh, 
and you're starting to see where the reputation of Dragon Quest actually comes from. That's going to do it for today. So tune in next time, and we'll be going to the next area. So until next time, stay frosty.